It might not sound like much of a difference, but let me tell you why 5K is a big step up from 4K and why many people are looking for a monitor with this resolution to enhance their display experience. This is the Philips Brilliance 27E3U7903. It's a new 27 inch sized 5K resolution monitor aimed at professional users, designers, photographers and content creators who are looking for a super high pixel density and a wide range of productivity enhancing features. And that's all with a competitive price point for this segment. The headline spec of this new screen is its 5K resolution, which has been packed into the common 27 inch screen size to offer a very high pixel density for an amazingly sharp and crisp image. It's a bigger step up from common 4K resolutions than you might think. It's only one extra K, but 5K is actually 78% more pixels than 4K and a 34% improvement in pixel density on a screen this size. It's not quite double the number of pixels, but it's close. As a result, the image looks even clearer and sharper than those already impressive offerings. It avoids any pixelation, even when you're inspecting it from up very close, and it offers a really impressive image quality and clarity that gives you razor sharp text, UI elements and images, with potentially also more desktop real estate to work with as well. On a screen of this size, it's what Apple refer to as a retina display resolution, a term that they've used to describe screens with such a high pixel density that the human eye cannot detect individual pixels at a normal viewing position. 5K is the same resolution that's featured on their own 27 inch Apple Studio display, a screen with a very similar design and spec to this Philips model, but at over double the price. When it's connected to a Windows PC system, you need to use operating system scaling on a screen this size, otherwise everything is just really tiny and uncomfortable. 200% scaling is what Windows recommends for this physical panel resolution, and that will give you the same desktop area as a normal 1440p resolution on a 27 inch screen size, just with double the pixel density for a much sharper and clearer image. 175% scaling is also very usable as well, and that will give you a nice boost in desktop area compared with typical 1440p monitors, while running at 150% would have similar small font size to a 31.5 inch monitor running at 4K without any scaling. Sometimes people might find that okay, but sometimes it's too small. You've got the flexibility here to run at lower scaling factors here anyway if you want, but the 5K resolution is really all about offering that super high pixel density so that everything is really sharp and crisp. A 5K resolution is considered important for Apple Mac users, where 5K is recognized by Mac OS as a retina resolution on a screen this size, whereas common 4K resolutions are not. Mac OS natively handles scaling best where there's a direct integer multiplication of the resolution. So having a 5K resolution that is two times the vertical and two times the horizontal resolution of a 1440p model is optimal for pixel perfect scaling. The physical resolution of the panel is exactly four times the so-called logical resolution of 2560 by 1440 set on the Mac OS and it's scaled perfectly as a result. That helps ensure a really sharp image and avoids any potential challenges or compromises. We don't use Mac OS ourselves, but some users report suboptimal performance at non-integer scaling. 1440p doesn't fit properly into 4K, for instance. So if you had a 4K resolution screen, then the more optimal logical resolution would actually be 1080p instead, and that's exactly a quarter of the 4K resolution. You can set the logical resolution to 1440p still when you're connected to a 4K screen, but it may not be as sharp and free from artifacts on close inspection as it is when you're using a 5K screen like this. There are utilities that can help improve things with macOS scaling, but the general view is that it's better to have a true integer scaling support, like going from 1440p to 5K. We're not saying that 4K looks bad on macOS, and many people will not notice any difference at all, but the pixel perfect scaling from 1440p to 5K, combined with the obviously much higher pixel density, leads to a sharper image if you have a 5K screen. That's the resolution that Apple have selected for Retina on their screen of this size. So a lot of Mac users are looking for a 5K resolution display to pair with their Mac devices. In terms of usage scenarios, a 5K display is great for video editors and post-production professionals when they're working on 4K content because you can view all of that content at the true native 4K resolution and still have a fair amount of leftover extra screen space around for UI interfaces and controls and icons and that kind of thing. 
that could be important for 4K content creation and video production. It's also great for photographers who want to view and edit their images in amazing detail, and for any kind of 3D modeling or design work which needs high detail, or for graphic designers who might want an expanded desktop workspace. You can see the other key panel specs here, and the screen is built around an IPS technology LCD panel to deliver great all-round performance with a nice and reliable stable image, wide viewing angles, and great colors. Notable specs include the 2000 to 1 contrast ratio, which is twice that of conventional IPS monitors, to improve black depth and image detail. There's also support for 10-bit color depth and a wide color gamut that covers 99.5% of the Adobe RGB color space and 99% of DCI-P3. That makes it well suited to those who need to work with different color spaces, whether that's using Adobe RGB for photography perhaps, or DCI-P3 for HDR content. There's a wide range of preset and emulation modes available in the menu to give you flexibility for different applications and use cases, and it's nice to see that these are quickly and easily accessible via a quick launch option too. There's also a smart uniformity mode in the menu, which is designed to optimize panel luminance uniformity for certain applications if you need to. The on-screen menu is pretty easy to control using the buttons on the bottom right-hand edge. HDR content is supported with the screen certified under the VESA Display HDR 600 tier with a peak brightness spec of 600 nits and some basic edge lit local dimming from the backlight. The screen has a sleek and professional looking design with a dark silver color finish and a simple but sturdy sand that's very reminiscent of Apple's 5K monitor. There's a full range of ergonomic adjustments available as well with tilt, height, swivel and rotate available. Another notable feature is the glass screen coating on the front, providing a durable, glossy coating rated with a 7H hardness, and also featuring some anti-reflective filters to help reduce reflections, along with an anti-fingerprint finish. This helps provide a really clear and crisp image, free from any grain that you might see on matte anti-glare coatings, and helps make the image pop a bit more. You can see there's a cable tidy hole in the back of the stand, and an integrated webcam and mic on the top of the screen. This is an AI auto framing webcam, which includes Windows Hello support and can automatically adjust and zoom to ensure that you're always in the frame during video calls. There's an integrated mic as well with the webcam and the screen also includes built-in speakers. So you've got an all-in-one device here for conference calls and collaboration if you need it. There's also a headphone connection if you prefer. We tried this for a video call and found that it worked really well with clear sound on both ends. A slider on the top also lets you control whether the webcam, mic, both or neither are active. Other premium features include support for hardware level calibration, with the screen also being certified as Kalman ready for simple automated calibration. We'll look to test that in full later on during our review, but there's a whole specific workflow for this monitor in the Kalman software, and that allows you to calibrate the screen's internal lookup table for high levels of control and accuracy. There's also an integrated motion sensor, which Philips call Power Sensor 2, which will put the screen to sleep when you move away from it and will wake it up again when you return. That's a useful feature for energy saving and for avoiding the screen just being left on unnecessarily. The screen also supports a smart KVM function, which unlike some traditional built-in KVMs, allows for switching between sources with the click of a button on your keyboard. When all devices are properly connected, users can easily switch between sources by clicking the control key three times, which makes life easier. Connectivity options are extensive with Thunderbolt available, including one input connection and one output so that you can easily daisy chain the screen if you want. The Thunderbolt input supports DisplayPort Alt mode, data transfer, and 96 watts power delivery, while the output supports the same, but with 15 watts power delivery. Devices like laptops with USB-C can easily be connected to the screen using that Thunderbolt connection, but there's also an HDMI 2.1 input if you need, which is useful for other external devices that you might want to connect as well. Multi-view mode supports a variety of picture-in-picture -picture and picture-by-picture -picture options for handling multiple video inputs on the screen at once. That's a handy feature if you're multitasking. There's also a built-in USB hub with USB-C and two USB-A ports on the back of the screen. The new Philips 5K monitor is due to be released in September at a competitive price point of £849 in the UK, and that will be available across European regions, but at the moment there's no plans to release this in the US. That makes it more than £1,000 less actually than Apple's Studio Display, which has a pretty similar design and feature set. 
the Apple screen does have a higher end webcam and speaker system. There's a few differences of course and some people will have a preference for one over the other, but Philips are offering an interesting new choice for those in the professional market focused on a 5K resolution monitor who want something at a more attractive price point. It's a great looking screen with an impressive feature set and it could be a great choice if you're after a 5K display. We've got a full review of this monitor coming up very soon on the main site, so do keep an eye out for that. And we'll also link to it below when it's ready. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.